Good evening and welcome to the Season 12 Weekend Special of Summer Sessions Live. I'm your host, Aaron Moore, and we are here inside Moore Hall Studios at Central Michigan University. We are here tonight with very special guests, a live audience made up of your friends, family, and students at Central Michigan University. We also have a group watching live in Moore 101, so thanks everybody for being here. This is a student-produced pr production that's coming to you live on MHTV, our YouTube live channel, and the Mount 91.5. Our amazing audio mix is brought to you by More Media Records. I wonder what they're playing. <laughs> Don't forget to send your questions for our bands on Instagram at Summit Sessions Live or right in the comment section on our YouTube Live. We'll also be taking questions live from our audience here in the studio. Both of the bands playing tonight are featured on More Media Records' 20, uh, 20th anniversary sampler, which will be released next Saturday, April 20th. Make sure to check it out. And come to the live performance by all the bands at Wesley Church Doors, open at 6 p.m. With that being said, please welcome our first artist of the evening, live from Holland, Michigan. The band has been playing together for almost a year, and they describe their music as alternative rock. Lie consists of Noah Orwell on electronic guitar and vocals, Eric Robert Johnson on electronic guitar, Nicholas Plummer on bass and vocals, and Jack Walkis on keyboard and vocals, and Sammy Solis on percussion. Please join me in welcoming Lie to Summer Sessions Live with their first song, Against the Wind. <laughs> Right off my feet, hey, hey, hey How can I fight that which I cannot see? What 
Thank you, everyone. Woo! That was Against the Wind. I wrote that song um, on the way to work, and I was biking, and I was like, oh, man, it's so windy. And then I ride my bike back home from work, and the wind is against me. And I'm like, every time, everywhere I go, the wind is against me. What's going on? I'm going to write a song about this. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> this next song is by Noah. This next song that we will be playing is called Once More. It's about my, my grandfather overseas. I want to see that geezer once more. And that's what this name, that's what the, that's what the song is called. Times change, but my mind it stays the same, and I cannot change your mind. But what I feel is just fine, and I know that the distance is something that I'm not sure. But I know one thing for certain: I wanna see you. When your presence was so near, I held you so dear. Every time you were there, you always asked me for my That was Lie with their song, Once More. Now we're going to take a short break, but we'll be right back. Multiple studies have shown that marijuana can slow both driver reaction and response time, which can be really dangerous. He's here. He's here. Wait, wait, wait. What? I can't drive. Or what? My... Oh, you 
When it comes to making plans, you are the best. The same way you plan each detail for those moments, start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. Eva Marie smoked 12,000 packs of cigarettes over 15 years. She quit, and now there's a new lung cancer screening that could save her life. You stop smoking, now start screening. No matter how much you smoked, early detection could save you. Talk to your doctor or learn more at savedbythescan.org. When they learn something new and you can just see in their faces, it's such an incredible moment. It's those moments that are my favorite. Welcome back. Now, I have some questions for you guys. Where did the name come from? So, <laughs> so uh, when, I, when I was younger, I used, to, I used to lie a little bit. And I, <laughs> I, I noticed that some of my bandmates and just other people in general do lie. So then I was like, oh, well, everybody does it. So I shouldn't be so, I shouldn't be so uh, self-conscious and like so scared because it is a human thing to do. So. I think that I thought it would be a good fit for us. Okay, okay. Speaking of fit, how did everybody in the group come about? Like, what's the origin story? Oh, man. So, I, <laughs> I, I, play, I yeah, played, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, Jack and I, we had, like, uh, we had a class in high school, and we really vibed over the, the book Animal Farm. Mm. And then we also, <laughs> we also worked board. at um, <laughs> McDonald's, too, and that just, made our friendship blossom even more. Yeah. And we jammed a couple times over that summer. Mm -hmm. I jammed with Nick a couple times. He's just one of my good time buddies of a long time. Mm -hmm. Sammy, we met in the lunchroom once and <laughs> I found out that he was a drummer. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then Eric over here, I just met him at a guitar store once. Mm -hmm. And then now we're, now we're, uh, mm -hmm. lie. Yeah. we're a lie. We're a lie. And that was not a lie. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, so I do have to ask. I was going through and I was going to type lie and I was told that if I don't spell it with a period, mm -hmm. I would get yelled at. Yes. Can you tell me why? It's, it's, <laughs> it's more of like, it's more of like a, it's more of like a statement, like okay. yeah. to lie rather than just like lie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I dig that. I dig that either yeah. way. So what is everybody's musical inspiration? Where do you kind of want to take the band? What, what is, what's your vibe? You start Nick. Yeah. I mean, I, I, Someone mentioned before the genre of like space rock, oh. that yeah. stuff, yeah, super wavy kind of kind of feeling to it, and just I mean you heard the last song is super like vibey and just I love that song. That's Thank that's kind of the flow I want to take some of our songs. So I love that. sweet. How about you, Noah? I love Steely Dan. Um, <laughs> I also love Thin Lizzy. I'm j I I just like the the rock scene, like the not 
not metal, but not like classic rock, like in between almost. Kind of like I, that fusion. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I really like that. And uh, I have uh, I listen to some jazz stuff, Miles Davis, Thelonious Monk, <laughs> old stuff like that, new stuff, indie stuff. Willis, they just released something cool. Yeah, it's kind of everywhere, to be honest. Yeah. Mm, how about you? I'm all over the place as well. Um, big fan of classic rock. Like, I, I grew up on Guitar Hero, so oh. any song on Guitar Hero 3, I'm really big on, except for Barracuda. It took me mm. way too long to <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But yeah, big on Steely Dan. That's the first, um, really in the years, was the song that Noah and I jammed at at uh, Rip Music in downtown Holland. <laughs> and then just really big into prog rock, psych rock, Pink Floyd and King Crimson, everything yeah. that fits in between there. It's just, <laughs> can't get enough of it. Yeah. It's all fun. Totally. Um, I'd say my musical inspiration is also Steely Dan, like um, just uh, 70s, 80s rock, dad rock. Um, I like the Foo Fighters. Um, Everlong's a good one. I don't know. <laughs> just songs that make you feel good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, being a drummer, I didn't actually get into rock, uh, surprisingly, until uh, <laughs> about my senior year of high school. But a lot of my inspiration comes from like uh, Jazz Fusion, um, Larno Lewis, Zach uh, Graybell, just like a lot of in your face jazz and stuff. As for the band, um, <laughs> moving forward and like, you know, kind of finding our sound, I would like to see us go more towards like an indie rock or maybe even an indie surf. Yeah, cool. doing, yeah. doing some ups, upbeat cool. stuff. Totally. But yeah. Yeah. Right. So what are you guys' favorite things about performing? What what gives you that drive or love for it? Uh, I've got an answer <laughs> off the bat. Yeah, I, I just bat. like what happens on stage. You know, you can practice so many times with the band and really set parts, but it's when you veer off from the plan that the magic really happens. <laughs> yeah. And it can yeah. happen in practice, but when there's so many people in the room and there's just that energy in the air. It happens differently. I like that. I like playing with people that are so skilled. It really, it feels like church when we practice together and we just, like I can close my eyes and just play and we're all at yeah. such a level that we mesh together really well. That was another thing. We all came together so easily. Yeah, it, every, like every first jam that we had, it, it was so seamless. Like yeah. All, like every time we added we another yeah. member, like everyone just, Moved right into the band. That, it was that really piece good. of the part. Yeah, right. piece of the part of the part puzzle. of the power puzzle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so how would you say how is that translated into like doing the sampler for MMR? Mm. How's that experience been going? It's, it's been. I, I won't answer this. <laughs> it's, it's been really good. We're learning a lot about each other as far as like taking criticism and like. Yeah. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Oh, stuff like that. Like yeah. it, it was. It was very difficult to. You've only been playing with these guys for a year, you know, and you guys got together as a band or whatever. And it's, like, hard to tell your friend in the face, like, we should do this instead. Or, yeah. like, mm -hmm. you have suggestions that you want to bring to the table, and it's, it's difficult. But it's something that has to be done, especially mm -hmm. in a group um, where you guys are just trying to grow. So It makes us better. Yeah. 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 There's definitely a learning curve to, like, this entire recording process as mm -hmm. well. And so we're just getting into that. So Yeah, through MMR, it was our first time recording. So it was a good experience mm -hmm. having... Some some place that I'm familiar with, especially to to open the gates for us. Yeah. Right. What would you say is like the next thing? What's what is the next goals that you kind of want to get to as a band? Yeah, an album. Recording yeah. Songs. Mm -hmm. Recording more of our songs. We we only have just through MMR the samplers, all the stuff that we have recorded so far. So just making more songs, becoming better musicians, mm -hmm. um, getting more of our stuff out there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Any venues that you have? that you really want to play? Like, um, you know, Van Andel. Yeah, <laughs> Man, right? <laughs> totally. that'd be, the oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah. Carnegie. <laughs> yeah. A place where everyone in the room loves our music. Yeah. 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 An accepting venue, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. well, and Madison Square Garden. Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> Madison Square Garden, yeah. <laughs> totally. Okay. And then, what would, to kind of ask again, what was, like, the recording process like with the sampler? Like, was it fun? Got any mm. funny, like, behind the scenes stories. <laughs> yeah, when we got there, uh, Jack. <laughs> I, w I couldn't stop saying swag among us. Shamoy pickle. The shamoy, the spicy shamoy pickle. I mean, don't get it. Swag among us. I don't know, it's like, just, I don't know. It's just it, silly. Yeah, it's just, it was a silly goofy moment. We spent like 24 hours over t two days in the studio and we all kind of burnt ourselves out. But it was yeah. A good experience. It was awesome, yeah. yeah. The end product is gonna be, it's gonna be so sick. Yeah, be awesome. But yeah, when, when we got there, uh, Jack took a nap in the, <laughs> in the vocal booth. <laughs> yeah. It took a while to set up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice and quiet in there. Yeah. yeah. We had the switch going and everything. Oh, yeah. Play video yeah. games. Yeah, we played Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Yeah. It was warm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it was cool.
thank you so much for answering my questions. Um, now we're going to head to a break, but don't go anywhere because Lai will be back to perform more songs right after this. After you joined our family, it was like, I really do feel complete now. I don't think that many kids in my son's school even do it. No way. No way. No way. No way. My kid would never vape. Get your head out of the cloud. Talk to your kid about vaping. Visit talkaboutvaping.org. Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you prevent wildfires. Dude, I've got this. I've been camping since I was five years old. But I am a camping influencer. You know what, I'll bet you five bucks. Okay. Assistant Smokey, what is the best way to put out a campfire? Mm -hmm. To put out a campfire, drown with water, stir, drown again. Then make sure the fire is out cold by feeling with the back of your hand. Wait, really? I'll take the five bucks. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. When it comes to making plans, you are the best. The same way you plan each detail for those moments, start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. Is that time yet? It's time. Donating pet food is one of the many ways you can help families in your community. Pets and people belong together. Learn more at petsandpeopletogether.org. Attacks against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders are on the rise. My simple solution to the problem was remove people from the scene and help them feel safer. In terms of the hate crimes, I think there is so much more work to be done. We really need to come together and tackle this issue as a community. are back and it's not too late to submit your questions for live feel free to send them in on instagram at summit sessions live or leave a comment right here on our youtube live now here's live with their next song our memories hi this is uh, our memories um i created this song during a time when i was going through um heartbreak um, and even though i don't relate to a lot of these lyrics it was some medium that i could pour my heart into and so i hope you can relate and i hope you can enjoy this song Yeah. 
right. So this final song. Oh, let's introduce the band first. Please. Yeah. Right here we have Nicholas Plummer on Hello. the bass. I am Nicholas Plummer. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Next we have Eric, Robert Johnson. <laughs> we have Jack Walkus on the keys. <laughs> the lick. And we have some otherworldly being, Sammy Salas on the drums. And then finally, Noah Oro. On the, on the electronic guitar. <laughs> this last song is about addiction. It is called Razor Spine Pickles. I hope you enjoy. What a silly thing that's lurking Swear to your mother Swear to your brother You cannot buy a cheap thrill Not some ordinary kind of thrill It's some darn Razor spine Pickles A nasty feeling But an oh so great taste In your eyes Perceived colors you have never faced And all of this wondrous thing And not too far beyond the door So you get back on that ripstick Then search up some more Swear to your mother Swear to your brother You cannot buy a cheap thrill That's the one and every kind of pill It's a darn Razor spine Big And then you see him sitting there, doing his report. You come back asking, hey, oh, can I have some more? With a greedy stare, and a licking of his lips. You can tell by the tips he's giving you ain't nothing but some tricks. Swear to your mother, swear to your brother, you cannot buy a cheap thrill. Not some ordinary kind of bill, it's some darn razor spines.
Thank you so much. We are we are live. Yeah. With a period. With a period. Don't forget that. And that was live with their last song of the night, Razor Spine Pickles. Now let's see what questions our audience have, both here and the studio at home. Let's start with one from the viewers at home. Any questions? Okay, anybody in the audience got a question? Um, what are some of your major passions outside of music? Um, I am studying to be a biologist, um, and so hopefully I'm becoming um, employed at a plant nursery this summer. Um, so that's kind of my um, degree going for. I'm going to be a veterinarian hopefully someday, so I like my animals. I live on a farm. I got some horses and goats and chickens and a donkey. Uh, passions, I really enjoy soccer. Uh, playing just any time <laughs> I can, really, so. Just okay, soccer. I have a question. Yeah. Can all of you sing? Just about. Mostly like, them. Yeah. I, a little bit. <laughs> I think we all sing. I can answer both <laughs> questions yeah. real quick. Um, I'm a music ed major, so it's not outside of music, but that would be my passion. And then because of that, I need to sing a bit, but I'm really not great. You guys don't <laughs> want to hear it. Yeah. Sam actually sung a cover of Pool House at one of our shows. Mm, yeah, yeah. played and while wow, playing the drums. Really good. It's pretty it's awesome. Yeah, that guy's cool. Pretty cool experience. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. It seems like we have a question. If you guys were in a horror movie, which one would you be in? Out, which would be out first, and which one would be the final girl? Dude. Whoa. I think I might be out first, honestly. <laughs> I feel like I I'd do some stupid, something dumb. <laughs> yeah. You trip. You trip. Yeah. You trip over somewhere. I think yeah. Eric would surpass us yeah. all. Oh yeah. Eric, Eric would be. Yeah. The most mature, most. I would run yeah. mostly. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, that's that, maybe that's maybe the smart. You guys. I would not. I'd investigate, and that's yeah. what would get me killed. Yeah. yeah. yeah you're What's the smart noise? one for running. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Do we have any more social questions? That's it. Does anyone else in the audience have any questions? My passion outside of it's not really it's not oh, yeah, outside we of music. It. Well, so I just, I want to be an audio engineer. So it's like pretty similar to what I'm doing now. So mm. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Cool. He's passionate. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. The rookie mistake. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. Yo, lie. If each one of you were to pick a animal to become, which one would you be? Oh, oh that's a good question. Yeah. I think cat. I'm a big cat guy, or maybe a raccoon. Something that roams the street at night. <laughs> um, I um, I love manatees. Mm. Manatees are like awesome, and um, yeah, sea animals. Yeah. Oh. I have to go with the duck. Mm. Uh, Mr. I Mr. mean, you can swim <laughs> and fly. I mean, come yeah, on. Best, best it's the yeah, and duck, yeah. duck is like peak. Yeah. yeah, animal right there. Yeah, Same. monkey. <gasps> Real brass monkey. No. Is that monkey monkey. <laughs> <laughs> if I, I actually have three. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> a seal, mm. an elephant, mm. or a quail. Those quail. Are very different. Yeah, hey, I didn't. Very different. Quail. A quail. Yeah, you know, like the the bird with the little thingy thing. <laughs> yeah. That, that guy. Uh. Yeah, cool. <laughs> okay. Can you? Okay. What songs are? What songs are? Are on your on your sampler? <laughs> Sorry. All of them except for once more. Yeah, so against the, the wind. Ones we just yeah, played. so um, we got against the wind, yeah, our memories, <laughs> and razor bind bit bowls. Yeah. Nope. That's all that's on it. Once more. I'll just cry that Sorry. once more isn't on the sampler. <laughs> Still yeah. Mm -hmm. It'll come in. Yeah, that one's good. Everyone loves that one. Yeah, we got to get that one recorded soon. It, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. So thank you so much to Live for joining us tonight on our weekend special and season finale of Summer Sessions Live. I'm going to toss it over to Michaela Jarrett with our Music in the Men. And right after that, we'll have our second musical act right here to perform for you. And let's give it up one more time for Live! <laughs> Okay, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, guys. I'm really bad at this, guys. Is there like, a there's like actually talented people on the show, like to do this, right? Um. I don't think I'm qualified. Um, but let me let me try one more time. Hold on, hold on. Okay. I 
think I did good. Um, anyways, uh, moving on. Welcome back to Music in the Mid and More, a segment of Summit Sessions Live devoted entirely to music in Michigan and then some. I'm your host and resident music nerd, Michaela Jarrett, bringing you the latest news for music in Michigan and more. For this weekend special, I thought it'd be cool to check in on past artists who appeared on Summit Sessions Live. So, where are they now? What are they up to? Let's find out. Owen Stanley was on our show on December 1st, 2023. He recently performed live with Jameson Quiggle at CK's Place in Big Rapids. I sure hope he starts releasing more music soon, because you can listen to his first ever and only EP, Saint Despair, on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, and even TikTok. J.H. Patton and the Good Companions were on our show October 6th, 2023. And I know They recently released a title track of their upcoming EP, California Green. Their full EP will be released on April 20th, which is conveniently the same day that MMR's sampler release show will be. Well, now you have two things to look forward to. Time to get super hype. Izzy Joy was most recently on our show on October 6th as well. I try to break away from all the pain, but I still feel the same. Izzy has been performing in many places. She even recently went to Nashville and got the chance to meet Jerry Foster, a country music legend. You can listen to her anywhere you stream music. October 27th, 2023 was the most recent time Across the Hall was on Summit Sessions Live. And guess what? About a week ago, they released their newest EP, Open Door Policy. You can listen to them on Spotify, Apple Music, and anywhere else you stream music. Definitely take a listen if you haven't already. On St. Patty's Day of last year, Eight Arm Killer performed on SSL. Although they haven't formally released anything recently, they are planning to play at the Midland Street Mixer with three other bands on May 19th of this year. Go support them by showing up or by streaming their music anywhere you listen. Josh Story was on our show on February 10th, 2023. He also hasn't formally released anything recently, but he's actually performing today at the Governor's Quarters on Winona Street. You can listen to him anywhere you stream music. Also, guess what? Today is his birthday. Everyone wish a happy birthday to Josh. Break a leg at your show tonight. Monsters and Spade was the other amazing band that performed on February 10th of last year. I don't hate you, but I don't love you anymore. I will take you from everyone that you love before. I don't they haven't released anything recently either, but they did perform in Grand Rapids on April 1st. They performed live at Tip Top Deluxe, and I wish I could have been there to see them. Check them out for yourself on Spotify or anywhere else. And finally, Post Eden most recently performed on SSL in the season 10 finale. On March 30th of this year, they graced us with a new album titled The Afterglow of Eden. This album is available to stream everywhere you find music. And my personal favorite is Rabbit Hole because it kind of sounds like the SSL intro. Hmm, suspicious. Well, that's all the time we have today for Music in the Mitten and more. I'm your host, Michaela Jarrett, and we'll be back with our super special weekend special of Summit Sessions Live after a short break. Stick around. Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you out. Because only you can prevent wildfires. Hey, Assistant Smokey Bear, call me Papa Bear, because I'm grilling up dinner. <laughs> you get it? Yes, good job. So, what should I do with all these coals? Don't just toss them out. Put them in a metal container, because those embers can start a wildfire. I understand. The stakes are high. Ha, 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 ha. See, Smokey thinks I'm funny. Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, 
I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Owen, when you came into my life, it was a whirlwind. I just can't do it. We didn't know what the future would hold, but we knew you would always be a part of it. Adopting you was the best decision in our life. And I am so proud to call you my son. It's important to get a flu shot each and every year because flu viruses are constantly changing and immunity from the vaccine decreases over time. Flu vaccines are updated annually to work against that year's viruses. The best time to get your shot is in the fall, but getting it later can still help. Getting a flu shot lowers your risk of getting sick. And if you do happen to get flu, it's likely to be less severe. Welcome back to the season 12 weekend special of Summit Sessions Live. I'm your host, Aaron Moore, and we are here inside Moore Hall Studios at Central Michigan University with a live studio audience. We also have a group watching live and more one-on-one. -on -one. This is a student-produced program that's coming to you live on MHTV, our YouTube live channel, and the Mount 91.5. Our amazing audio mix is brought to you by Moore Media Records. Still playing that game, I see. Oh. Don't forget to send your questions for our next band on Instagram at Summit Sessions Live or right here in the comment section on our YouTube Live. We will also be taking questions live from our audience here in the studio. Once again, this, these bands are performing in anticipation for the More Media Records 20th Anniversary Sampler. Make sure to check it out on April 20th and come to the live performances by all four bands at Wesley Church. Doors open at 6 p.m. Without further ado, our second musical act of the night is Moravian from Detroit, Michigan. They describe their music as indie rock and have been playing together for one year. Mor Moravian consists of Alex Christ on vocals, Blake Popvin, and Tommy Bo Baumeister Jr. on guitar, Kobe Velez on bass, and N Rico Velez on drums. Introducing for the second time on Summer Sessions Live, Moravian with their song, The Rain. <laughs>
This one's called Call it what you want
That's a new tune. This next tune is a personal favorite of ours. It's called Medusa. It's a scary song about a scary girl. That was Moravian with their song, Medusa. Now we're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back.
Multiple studies have shown that marijuana can slow both driver reaction and response time, which can be really dangerous. He's here. He's here. Wait, wait, wait. What? I can't drive. For what? My. Oh. <laughs> When it comes to making plans, you are the best. The same way you plan each detail for those moments, start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. Eva Marie smoked 12,000 packs of cigarettes over 15 years. She quit, and now there's a new lung cancer screening that could save her life. You stop smoking, now start screening. No matter how much you smoked, early detection could save you. Talk to your doctor or learn more at savedbythescan.org. When they learn something new and you can just see in their faces, it's such an incredible moment. It's those moments that are my favorite. back now i do have some questions for you guys how does it feel to be back for a second time on summer sessions live very Come good very, yeah. cool. very cool anything that you say you learned the first time and now you feel is different the second time around how to be a band certainly you guys we were a band the first time when you came on not for too long i would i would say we were very young trying to figure out like how to even make music Ooh. how to do interviews and stuff like that and we're still learning because us and Lai were very young bands, um, but we kind of got the reins on everything a little bit more. You're like toddlers now. Yeah, we're you're like, like toddlers. Yeah. Before you were like a newborn baby, now you're toddlers, which is so sweet. We're stepping through infancy. <laughs> That's <laughs> a way to put it. Okay. Corny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so what would you guys say is now your musical inspiration? Has anything changed since the last time, maybe? I, I doubt it. I feel like everyone's still kind of on the same page. Kobe's really just got like two feet into country music. Oh yeah, he's big <laughs> into country Beyonce music. Album? No, 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 not it's Beyonce. I just, I've just always been. Okay. I've always liked country. Well, you should, you should listen to it. You listen. Yeah. You should listen. As, to as someone who doesn't like country, <laughs> Queen Bee did it right. <laughs> Queen Bee. All right. you, you I'll, I'll, I'll have to give it a listen. Okay, okay. I'll give it a listen. So I do have a question. How was it releasing your EP on February 9th? Very successful. I mean, it, it kind of, I feel like it did what we kind of expected it to, but I feel like a little more. Okay. Like, I mean, we, like our songs got a decent amount of streams very quick. Like Medusa, I think today, uh, just hit 10,000 it, it streams. Yeah, it hit 10,000 streams and it passed Infatuation and it's about to pass Cocaine and those songs came out almost a year ago. Oh, dang. So yeah, it's, it's, it's building and it's, it's going quick. It's been pretty fun. 
how is like the stardom and the fame going? Do you feel like it's going to your heads yet? <laughs> yes. No, oh, for definitely. sure. <laughs> Every time I put the sunglasses on, I can't doors. walk outside of my house anymore. Paparazzi uh, always getting you. It's really hard just to be out in public. Even here, I was shattered with paparazzi. Really? Yeah. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. So yeah, they'll see I'm grateful to be in a peaceful place now. I was like, we have our own security, so hopefully you feel safe. <laughs> yeah. So it's much better now. I feel. I feel. Okay. What is everybody's dream venue? What are we feeling? Madison Square Garden, Rockefeller. I've always said Madison Square Garden. Kobe's always What's been that one in Colorado. Colorado. Red Rock. Red Rock. Red Rock. Red Rock. I want to play South by Southwest. Rock. Also, like like local, like uh, Masonic Temple would be pretty cool. Oh. Yeah. Masonic Temple. It's it's a very intimate venue. I mean, it's got a lot of seating, but it's it's also it's, huge. It, also. It's like it's like small but big. It's like an indoor uh, like DTE pretty much. And then, uh, <laughs> and then I guess like end goal would be like Ford Field. <laughs> that's that's like that's know, top of the line. I was like, but who are we touring with to get on that bill? Yeah, right. Who are we touring with <laughs> to get on that bill? Go lie, go post Eden. Mm-hmm. Big hitters, some mm-hmm. big hitters. Big hitters. Okay, what is how was recording the sampler and everything with MMR? How's that experience been? It was a lot of fun. We don't have or we haven't had a lot of recording experience. Um, we have our one producer that we met. We're very grateful for. Um, but other than recording a few songs with him, we don't really know what we're doing. And then um, we did the whole MMR thing, um, the songs for the sampler. And um, that's where we realized that when we have fun making the music, that it sounds better because we can tell we're having fun and it's fun music. Um, so definitely very memorable experience. Uh-huh. What would you say is next? Any songs that you think, any projects that we do? <laughs> okay, we got a bank of 19 song ideas, just straight up, and we <laughs> need to work on them. <laughs> so I listed them. We got 19, not including any that we may come up with in the future. Um, we definitely want to keep on dropping higher quality singles throughout the year and would hope to drop a project, another EP, see where it takes us. The okay. first two songs, those are like, those are like pretty new. Like we've played "Call What You Want" a couple of times uh, throughout a few shows, but the rain, like, we literally just, we just crafted <laughs> that just song. I think song. three days ago, but we've had it for a while. It's just it's uh, been going through like we a rebirth out. and a rebirth and a rebirth. We figured out what we wanted from yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When like it comes to like songs like that, how is the writing process or like the I'm gonna call it the Taylor Swift Bolt treatment of your songs? Like, how's that um, cycle life? So. A song with us can come about a bunch of different ways. Either Thomas will play a little bit on um, GarageBand or what do you use? Uh, BandLab. (laughs) And digitally make kind of like very rough draft like song ideas. And then I'll kind of just spit to it. And if I say something that any of us think is memorable, usually we kind of like it and then we roll with it. And then we tack on drums, whatever the correct groove is that we feel like it should have. It isn't that consistent. <laughs> but it's not <laughs> it that ca- consistent. It just, like when it comes, it comes and it just kind of happens and we're like, okay, we like that and then it's adding and adding and adding and then finally we're like, oh, we can play it live. Oh. And then when we play it live a couple of times, we kind of notice some like kinks or like what can we do to make it better for the next time we play it live and then when can we go into recording? Because the version you hear now might not be the version that comes out. Probably won't. So we're getting exclusive. Pretty kind much. of <laughs> like it's like right now like the songs the three songs that are new they could be complete they could be in different keys they could have different lyrics like it's always a different it's changing every week it's always we're always building on what we have and getting better every time we perform okay. so then that adds my next question when you're making like music do you kind of go for more like that live how it's going to play live and does that kind of go into like your tour like you want to make sure the music sounds nice uh Kind of, yes and no. I feel like the recordings are always going to have like different stuff than it is live. Yeah. Like the recordings are going to sound a little different. Like Infatuation, Infatuation was more meant to be like that kind of live song. Uh, but everything else is kind of just like what we do on stage is probably going to be different than what we do in the studio. We like to we like to record and write stuff authentic to how you would see it performed live. But every once in a while, we have an idea. We're like, I need like a choir of like. 33-year-old group of people 
<laughs> and the grit in their voice, and I need that on the song. You need like six backgrounds. And they'll be singers. like, no, that's way too much. Don't do that. But sometimes there's ideas that we're like, oh, this would sound good. We put it in a recording and can't necessarily recreate it live, but it's exclusive for the listening experience on streaming. Okay. Okay. Sweet. I think that's all the questions I have. So thank you so much to Moravian for answering my questions. You guys are great as always. You're always great. If you still have questions for them, send in, send them on Instagram at Summit Sessions Live or right here in our YouTube comment section. Now it's time for a short break. I'm sorry, but you will be back with more Moravian after the break. you joined our family it was like I really do feel complete now I don't think that many kids in my son's school even do it no way no way no way no way my kid would never vape get your head out of the cloud talk to your kid about vaping visit talkaboutvaping.org Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you prevent wildfires. Dude, I've got this. I've been camping since I was five years old. But I am a camping influencer. You know what, I'll bet you five bucks. Okay. Assistant Smokey, what is the best way to put out a campfire? Mm -hmm. To put out a campfire, drown with water, stir, drown again. Then make sure the fire is out cold by feeling with the back of your hand. Wait, really? I'll take the five bucks. If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. When it comes to making plans, you are the best. The same way you plan each detail for those moments, start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. Is that time yet? It's time. Donating pet food is one of the many ways you can help families in your community. Pets and people belong together. Learn more at petsandpeopletogether.org. Attacks against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders are on the rise. My simple solution to the problem was remove people from the scene and help them feel safer. In terms of the hate crimes, I think there is so much more work to be done. We really need to come together and tackle this issue as a community. Welcome back. Now, here's Moravian. Take it away, guys. Take it away, Benny. Walk them to 
since I was a kid, that was a superpower I wanted. Some people wanted to be invisible. Some people wanted laser eyes. I wanted to fly. You ever see a bird do that? Yeah, it looks like flying. That's what this song's about, roughly. Tune is the first song we ever wrote. I wrote it when I was a youngin. And it's inappropriate, but not too inappropriate. It's called the cocaine.
drugs. Thank you. That was Moravian with their song, Cocaine. Now it's time for some social questions. Does anyone have any questions? Okay. What is it? Flip Turn. I love Flip Turn. Facts. Beautiful band. Or Two Door Cinema Club. Yeah, them too. Two Door Cinema Club. Quarters of Change. Quarters of Change. Good answer. The Stroke. The Strokes. The, strokes. <laughs> the Killers. There's lots. There's lots. We like a lot of people. Mm -hmm. How did you guys come up with the name Moravian? It's mm. not the street that Blake lives on. I no. can tell you that. Cool. No. <laughs> um. um. It's Take it away, Penny. Route. Moravian University, man. <laughs> Pennsylvania? We ripped you off. <laughs> it's a cool name. Sorry. We picked it. I mean, it's kind of random. <laughs> Good job, guys. You killed it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. What are all of... Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, Aaron. Um, what are all of your go-to dance moves? <sighs> dance moves? Go-to what? Dance moves. Dance oh, moves? that's a good one. Probably just whatever I... <laughs> Whatever I was doing. Alex has even way too many dance really moves. Um, we can turn like this. <laughs> and Tommy likes the gritty a lot. He still does that. I do. Anything that just involves moving the feet. Hey, like Tommy's really definitely yeah. the gritty. <laughs> <laughs> I am the gritty. I like, um, what do I like to do? What's it called? You hook the leg around somebody? do -si do oh. right? Is that a do -si do I like do -si do like a, like a spin around type deal. <laughs> That's all we got to do. Type beat. If you had to get a tattoo as a band, what would you get? Oh, that's a good one. Probably a tiger with like <laughs> eight balls for eyes. See, what I was thinking is we get our logo on the bottom of our foot. Oh, God. Isn't that the most painful oh spot to get a tattoo? Probably something painful. just like related to our name or our logo or something. Like I would probably get the like current Moravian logo. I don't know. Or just Moravian, like etched out, like a child wrote it. Or a cool <laughs> quote by a dead foot. president. Honestly, if we got to the point where we it's went like stuff. we had like a number one song or a number one album, I'll, I'll get it like tattooed on my back or something. Like I think that's a huge accomplishment, especially. We're a very indecisive group. Mm -hmm. No, we can't even all agree on music taste. We all come from such 
difference. But um, how did you guys choose all your instruments? I can't play guitar. I can't play bass. I can't play drums. <laughs> <laughs> um, started singing a couple of years ago, and I liked it. And um, they didn't really want to sing. So once I hopped on board, they're like, "You're the singer. You're the front man." So yeah. I did it, and I enjoyed it a lot. Like I feel like me and Tommy just kind of fell into guitar. Rico was almost there on bass or guitar, but I ended up getting a drum kit. Yeah, you just got a drum kit. Yeah. It felt right. <sighs> yeah. My dad was a bass player in high school, and I really liked a lot of the music he listened to. It's hereditary. And so I picked up the bass like seven years ago. Okay. That, I think that's all we have. Okay. Before we, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for this weekend special. Big thank you to our um, More Media Records alumni, Cameron and Sabrina, for all they've done. Thank you so much. You guys have been. Our demo service manager our, and our production manager are graduating this semester. The pair have been an important part of Summit Sessions live production and cultivating the music you hear. Two plain and hilarious skits each show. Thank you both for all you do and the crew and everyone loves you so much. Uh, thank you to all the stuff you've given to this program and you will be greatly missed. It won't be the same without you. So let's give one more big round of applause for Cam and Sabrina as they take their final bows. Thank you to Lai and Moravian for being on this weekend special edition of Summit Sessions Live. Let's give both the bands another round of applause. <laughs> and another big thank you to our fantastic live audience for Summit Sessions Live. I'm your host, Aaron Moore. See you on the flip side or actually in the fall for our Taylor Swift season, season 13. Bye.